All right, this is my 2012 um, PA14. I bought it used for two grand. Built the trailer for about 250. Um, this is my uh, camera mount for when I'm going. Simple. Rod holder on the right. Rants. Elite 4 HDI. Works pretty good. Um, there's a rod holder on the left. Uh, if you can see, I've also got lights underneath the uh, bow on both sides. Or, I'm sorry, those are my cockpit lights. Um, I also added on the uh, Bass Pro Shops. Um, seat adjuster which works out great lifts it up like three inches and allows it to slide back and forth so I need to adjust my pedals gives me more room under there too uh, I got my anchor rope collapsible anchor and of course you can see my uh, my my uh, eight foot uh, carbon pole for pushing and I just got that tucked into the fish holder rod up there and uh, of course the anchor is attached to the standard Hobie anchor trolley which I love that thing's very very nice very useful in the back I just got a milk crate with uh, three rod holders I do have the extended rod holders on each side um, I bought this little tiny bait well for 15 bucks and plus I got two dozen shrimp uh, when I bought it um, runs for about 20 hours on two AA batteries. Um, I keep my maps in here. Um, you know, whatever, anything else. I've also got the, my whistle. You can see my whistle down there. Um, I also keep one attached to my life vest. Bug spray. Sunscreen. I, really, I have like a first aid kit in the back underneath the hatch. So, and uh, Yak Vizzy Light Pull. Um, I've also got a rig where I can put a 24 inch dive flag on there. Uh, if I'm out scuba diving, spear fishing, or something like that. And uh, those are my wheels. I, I rarely use my wheels now that I have the trailer. Um, as long as I can get to a place that uh, allows me to uh, trailer it in, a dock or something. Keep my paddle in the standard place. My other rod holder. Um, nothing really special on this side. Um, I ran the uh, cables because um, this is a 2012. I had to drill a hole and run the cables down there. So. Uh, when I go out on the ocean, I use this as a fish cooler if I ever catch any fish. So far, I haven't had a lot of luck. So, um, and I use the battery mount right up front and um, common grounds right there. Mm, everything's wired pretty good. I used aviation. Uh, environmental splices on all my electrical and um, I added a nav light which I really do like and um, I can turn it on everything I'm moving a little bit fast everything switches off of this panel right here so I'll just turn that light on And uh, there's my red and green LED nav lights. Mm, I just use those mostly when I go out in early in the morning to start out before I get to my spot. Um, I've also got it set up that I can put a spotlight on and an outlet, which I like a cigarette outlet slash USB port, which will be this one right here, and then a spotlight that'll be off the bottom like a 
maybe a fish attractor or something like that. So, and uh, that's my kayak. Um, like I said, the trailer is a 4x4 Harbor Freight trailer with the Unitrack going across the sides and a three and a half inch um, Schedule 40 electrical tubing. And then I had to buy a 10 foot piece of um, 3 by 2 uh, metal to extend it and I just uh, shoved uh, the original one inside of it um, but because of that I had to run extra ground wire because I wasn't getting good ground for my lights so that's my kayak I live in Orlando Florida um, I fish lakes around here I also fish Mosquito Lagoon and Indian River uh, I work in Miami so I plan on taking this down to Miami and fishing off of uh, Dania Beach and uh, maybe do some spear fishing, scuba diving uh, during uh, lobster season. So, hope you enjoyed my video. My first one. <laughs>